Support Politics Unboring by going to patreon.com slash jforman. Ooh, thank you. This man, whose face you're looking at a photo of, is the Speaker of the House of Commons. His job is to make sure that MPs behave themselves in Parliament. He decides who speaks and when, throws members out if they break the rules, and says order a lot. Order! 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 But who is the Speaker? Surely it must be someone who's unbiased, independent and impartial. Well, guess what? It's not. MPs choose one of their own fellow MPs to be their speaker. In the olden days, the speaker's job was to keep the king informed of what's been going on in Parliament. It was a thankless and dangerous job and a few of them got executed when the king was in a bad mood. This has led to a tradition that continues to this day, where the new speaker is ceremonially dragged unwillingly to their new position. Nowadays, Speaker of the House of Commons is quite a cushy job. You get a comfy chair with armrests. Chair. You get to actually live in the Houses of Parliament. Bed. And you can design your own coat of arms. Coat of arms. The trade-off is, once you become Speaker, you're no longer allowed to take part in parliamentary debates or votes. The current Speaker is the Right Honourable John Burko, Conservative MP for Buckingham. So when Mr Burko became the Speaker, who took his place in Parliament? Who now speaks up for his beloved Buckingham? Who does the voting on their behalf? No one. And it gets worse. There's a long-standing gentleman's agreement between the major parties that in a general election, the Speaker's seat is uncontested. That's why in TV election coverage, there's always a Mordor-like blank splodge on the map labelled Speaker. So the residents of Buckingham have a pretty raw deal. Not only do they not have a voice in Parliament, they don't have a chance to get rid of their MP either. Too bloody right! Yeah! On the one hand, this doesn't really matter, because Buckingham is about the safest Tory seat in Buckinghamshire. But on the other hand, 97,000 people are unrepresented in Parliament. So what's being done about it? John Burko himself has said that this issue has to be looked into. But has it been looked into? Has it bobbins? A few brave upstarts have tried to run as a candidate against the Speaker. Most notably, three times ex-leader of UKIP, Nigel Farage. But that didn't work. He didn't even come second. There just doesn't seem to be an appetite to do anything about it. So it looks like the residents of Buckingham are stuck without a voice until a new Speaker is picked. And that probably won't happen until the current one resigns. Or if he's executed. Don't read a book while driving a car. Don't read a book while riding a bike. Do read a book by downloading the Audible app and listening to audio books. Cause Audible have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of books, usually read by the author, which makes it better than reading a non-audio book. My favorite audio book that I'm listening to right now is That's Your Lot by Limmy. It's a very funny book. Go to audible.com slash jforman for a 30-day free trial. You can try it out. That's audible.com slash jforman for a 30-day free trial. Thank you very much. The end. 